Honey, I'm home. Ah, yes, back from shopping. And I thought today's video will do what a marathon runner, or someone training for a 245 marathon, buys from the supermarket for their weekend shop. So I've just got back from the supermarket here in Helsinki and I'm going to share with you some of these items. Well, I'm going to show all of them, not just some of them. But bear in mind, you know, we've got rice, we've got lentils, we've got all those, you know, oats and stuff. Those ba basics already in the cupboards and everything. So these are just basically things to have on top of these types of things. So, first of all, we got some lettuce and some basil, fresh ones there, which is super nice. Uh, basil actually is really nice with mango, pineapple in a smoothie. And we got some red and yellow peppers. Lots of these things. I don't know what they're called actually. What are they called? Uh, yellow, <laughs> yellow bananas opposed to purple bananas. Actually, I do think that is a thing, isn't it? I don't know. But uh, some nice bananas for some smoothies. You know me, I like them after a run. Some courgettes as well, or zucchini, as uh, Parker mentioned. You know, it's quite funny that we have a different name for, well, I guess French is courgette and English is courgette as well, and Italian zucchini, and then I guess in the States they took that from there. there. Some carrots as well, mushrooms, kale. Most of this also is organic as well, and uh, I'll tell you the price in a moment of what that costs here in Helsinki. Finland is quite uh, an expensive country per se in a way, but I guess it's also reflected upon your salary and everything, everything else as well like that. Some apples as well, which I'll have as a snack with some peanut butter. That's a, apparently quite an Instagrammable kind of snack, apparently. I've got sweet potato, and some of these nice basics, onions, because I need to cry a little bit sometimes. And some onions, and we have some grapes as well. So that concludes the first bag. And the second bag, what do we have? Some nice potatoes, you know, nice to make either oven chips, mashed potato, boiled potatoes, whatever. Nice little staple there. And, um, well, one, two, three, four, five, six pineapple juices, as you can tell. In this household, we do like pineapple juice. And one last thing, Oi. there we go, some black olives as well. So, question that is all on the tip of your tongues, I know it is, is the, how much did it cost? It came to 41 euros and 73 cents. So. Yeah, maybe it's a little bit pricey in one way, but if you think about it, this will feed us for the whole weekend and that's pretty good. You know, if you go out for a meal here or any country as well, like it's 15 euros, 15 pounds or something. So here we are, we've got nice, healthy, and to be honest, I'm quite excited by it to, you know, eat some of these things. Gonna probably make like a homemade pizza, some nice, you know, vegetable, lasagna or some rice with vegetables and everything and uh, lots of nice smoothies as well for the weekend. This weekend what is on the cards for running wise we've got a long run so it's going to be 2 hours 20 or 30 kilometers I think whichever one comes first and basically all just easy running. Next week we've got some good running as well but you know we'll get into that when it comes. But yeah, so this is just some of the things that I do buy. Obviously, as I said, you know, sometimes we might buy like a pack of crisps or something. Um, I don't want to give out false impressions that, you know, I only buy fruit and vegetables and that is it. It just happened to be, you know, this is what I'm craving at the moment as well. And I think I know I feel good for eating these things. Whereas when you eat like, let's say, burger and chips, after it you don't feel so great so why do we continue to do that you know if, if it doesn't make you feel good then why do it so i know that when i have a smoothie or when i have a nice you know stir fry of, of vegetables i feel good after it so i'm doing what makes me feel good 
and yeah. If you've got any comments or questions on this subject or my shopping, uh, then feel free to ask. I'm more than happy to share. I just thought I'd bring this little video. It's not going to be that much, but um, hope it's enjoyable. Another important phase of marathon training, it's not all just about the running that you do, it's about the rest and recovery, as we've all said many times. And this is one of the main things that gives you fuel to do the runs that you do and also helps you recover. So it's an important link between two there. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you're not subscribed already and you've made it this far, you know what to do. I hope I'm